an emissary from High Sept in the 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38 has reached us with a proposal. High Septon will grant us absolution for our sins of kinslaying. Really? Just like that, I knew I had a good feeling about this guy. I wish the bear did it. Uh, I liked him the best, but you know, how's Blackwood? They exile High Septon. How much is this going to cost us here? A hundred gold to absolve us of kinslaying? What is this? Is this like Black Friday? Is this like the bargain bin of kinslaying? Uh, I'm on my knees praying, High Lord, or High Septon. Excellent. We are no longer a kinslayer. Unfortunately, our nickname does not reflect that. My courtier, Morin Hunt, the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Morn Hunt, oh, he's 30 years old though. Siblings. Uh, the son of Sir Morn Hunt, the guy who's taking over, uh, plotting to take over the Reach. He has two children, Sir Morn Hunt, right? He is a bachelor at the moment. I could matrilineally marry him to my daughter. And then when they die, their child will be the heir to the Reach. And then I'll play as that character. And then we'll have the reach underneath us, but the man is 30. I do not like that. I do not like that the man is 30. Uh, and my daughter's only 11. Like, this is this is rough. I don't want to do this. But for the future of House Martell, we may have to uh, make a little... I mean, my daughter's 13. You know, it's only what? Like a 15, 16, 17 year difference? And the guy's a drunkard? Oh my lord. Okay, let's let's send the request. I'm gonna say, I will find you someone nice, Morin Han. I know just the woman. She is freshly, you know, flowered. Send him over. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see what let's see how Morin Hunt takes the news that he's going to be betrothed to the princess of Dorne. And the and uh, the Stormlands. Lady Elios. And he accepted it just like that. Matrilineal betrothal. We need to now ensure that this marriage is set in stone before uh, Sir Morn Hunt takes the reach. Because I'm pretty sure, because Sir Morn Hunt is just a unlanded um, character at the moment, he's willing to accept any marriage, even if it's matrilineal, right? But once he becomes the High Lord of the Reach, if that does happen, then he'll probably break the betrothal. So we need to get that marriage, you know, annulled, or whatever you call it, just like, set in stone. Please, would it bother the number of good dresses that I'm still able to wear is growing increasingly smaller as my pregnancy takes its course. I even forgot I was pregnant. Um, perhaps I should order some new clothes to be tailored on my current measurements. Yeah, sure, why not? Like I said, money is no object. My friend, Lord Commander Dylan, talked to you today about your fine service to Queen Morena. I even forgot my friend is the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. We do have friends in uh, King's Landing. And my kinsman is here. You know what? The uh, There's a party going down in King's Landing right now. I just hate the Queen. Uh, Pentos, the man who we are at war with, only has 6,700 men left. We are slowly and methodically as a country now, taking him up piece by piece, or as a kingdom, I guess, taking him piece by piece apart. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. We're landing even more men in Pentos. Pentos itself is falling under siege. Another daughter was born to me, and she died, unfortunately. Muriel, um, she's dead. Words fail me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't recognize my friend Lord Commander Dylan anymore. The things we had in common when we first met and became friends have has changed and vanished. Whenever I meet him, I ask myself, is this the person I want to be friends with? Can we really be friends despite all our differences? The man sworn to serve his queen, a queen who I hate, can we really be friends? I'm going to ask him. I'm going to let him decide. Dylan, the brute, what do you think? Instead of agreeing that our friendship is doomed, Lord Commander Dillon told me that as long as he lived, he would consider me a friend. Oh, man. All of our differences, the things we no longer had in common, Lord Commander Dillon dismissed as us having grown up, up 
it was time for us to find new things to talk about and strengthen our friendship with. Oh my god. Dylan, you're bringing a tear to my eye. You did not abandon our friendship. I appreciate that. You are one of my few friends in this snake pit called King's Landing. And I appreciate that that, that friendship is true to you. Is uh, real for you. You're even zealous. A zealous faith of the seven, man. I frown on your service to our queen, but I appreciate our friendship. Let's say, Lord Oral of Brimstone has uh, given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning sexual preferences. Of who? How should I use this juicy information of the spy master of where? Of who? I'm just going to keep this to myself. Because I, I don't know who that is. Oh, the uh, Pantoshi army is actually in the Vale. They're taking over the Eerie. Good thing we declared, or we joined the war when we did, because uh, the Eerie just fell. Um, and if that happened when we weren't in the war, uh, meaning the Iron Throne, then the Vale would have just lost. Lord Paramount Harlan, the second of the Reach, has declared Reachman Great Wick de Jorah War over Great Wick on Lord Reaver Horgan of Great Wick. So now the Reach is trying to consolidate power on the Iron Islands, leaving no Iron Islander uh, free. I don't know, to be themselves. Seven, oh, right. I was like, why is that? I forget that the uh, symbol of the Iron Throne is Stannis's, you know, burning stag. Forget that sometimes. I wish I could tell when Morin Hunt planned to launch his invasion. He has 145 gold, most of which I gave him. He is making money per, uh, per month. So he does have a job, I guess. He's working in Sunspear, uh, trying to scrounge up enough money to launch an invasion of the Reach. He will definitely need a lot of... Oh my god, the Reach's manpower just keeps going up and up and up. But I mean, so does ours. We have 23,000 men. If we do decide to join uh, Sir Morin Hunt, then, I mean, he'll need at least 20,000 men to even out the odds between us and Dorne. So let's hope he can scrounge together that much. One of your vassals can be discouraged from joining factions. This guy, I don't care. He, uh, this guy is a threat to us. He's a threat to our ruling of the Stormlands. But he does not have kids. He's 41. Married to a uh, Drogos and a High Lady with a cone head. Uh, he does have cancer. He, he, I mean, he might die soon. I don't know. Hopefully he does. And then we won't have to deal with him. So we're going to say we'll do nothing for now. We don't want to aggravate him any more than we already have by uh, taking over his birthright, the Stormlands. So, yeah, we're just going to continue like this for a little while longer. Oh, my God. My investigation into the rumor of a plot in King's Landing must have alerted someone. Armed thugs are breaking into my room. Will I escape with my life? There's a 25% chance I die. There's a 1 in 4 chance I die right here. I'm wounded. Okay. I did manage to survive the thugs attacking me, but the incident has left me severely wounded. I'm lucky to be alive. I must send a letter to the Queen inform her what happened i was attacked in the streets of king's landing i feel like this is almost as if there's a plot against me dare i say queen morena did you send those thugs to attack me i came here open-minded possibly to even construct a new friendship with the queen of the iron throne bridge the gap between dorne and king's landing and now i see that you only brought me here to kill me i'm lucky to be alive but if I stay here much longer, I'm going to be dead. I think it's time. It's time I'd return to Dorne. Rena resign from the council. You know what? Before I leave, I'm, I'm going to have a word with my friend. Lord Commander Dillon. Get out while you still can. That's all I have to say. King's Landing will burn. Mark my words. Whether it's because of me. Or whether it's because this queen drives it into the ground. R'hllor, it's a god of fire. You're a fool to think King's Landing is going to do anything other than go up and smoke. We need to return to the Faith of the Seventh, to the Light of the Seventh. I leave him with that. And then, now that we're back in Dorne, we are going to, once again, continue my seduction attempts. We are wounded. Oh, this guy. And that guy loves me, too. Like, this guy is in debt for me, right? I'm at, oh, he's attracted to me, excellent. Um, my sex appeal is through the roof. I backed him as a claimant adventurer, excellent. And we even uh, married or uh, betrothed our children. So what's the next step after all that? Obviously, 
It's for him to become my lover. My prince, uh, my princess, I humbly ask that you intervene on my behalf against the uh, aggression of Sir Morden Seaworth. Guess what, buddy? I honestly forgot what you did, but I know I'm upset with you. You did something from me. So I'm going to say, why do I care? Uh, deal with your own problems. I shall bring all my seduction skills to bear on Sir Morn until I have him wrapped around my finger. Excellent. If this plan does succeed, and he does declare war before, like, our children are able to marry, then I will have the Lord Paramount of the Reach wrapped around my finger, pretty much. Right now, he's a landless courtier. In the future, he could evolve, grow into something much better. We have a new Lord Commander on the Wall. The White Walkers were defeated, if I'm not uh, mistaken, so the, the wall is pretty much useless at this point. I mean, it's keeping the Wildlings away, but the Wildlings uh, serve no threat to anyone. The White the White Harbor has actually expanded beyond the wall, taking over uh, Then, Freevale, and Shivering Forest. Lady Jane approaches me, my liege. I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status. Yes, cult Dorne needs to become a cultural... Uh, stronghold, you know, uh, center in, in Westeros. People, I want people to know of Dorne's name from here to the wall. Uh, make people notice what a great ruler you are. Yes, I would require some gold in your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. 129 gold. Chump change, that's what I say. So be it, surprise me. We're making pretty much 10 gold per month. In a year, we'll make back the money we gave that lady. Some pretty uh, petty squabbles in the Westlands, looks like. An old wound is, wound is aggravating and painful. May the Father have mercy on us. May the Father have mercy on me, is what I say. Can my uh, maester help me out here? Like, what's going on? I made sure to, uh, to attend a minor event in Sunspear in the hopes of seducing Sir Morin. But despite my best attempts, he remains unimpressed. Unimpressed? Buddy, come on. What do you mean, unimpressed? I need more practice. <sighs> Unfortunate. How can you be unimpressed with this? I have blood splattered across my face. I cannot be more seductive if I tried. But seriously, I should, like, go, you know, wash up. You'd think that might be a thing. My, uh, <laughs> looks like the marriage can finally go through. My daughter is old enough, 14 years old, married to the Morin Hunt, 31 years old. I, you know what, that's not that big of a difference, right? In age, I think they can, uh... They can find some things in common to talk about. The man is actually a drunkard. He's going to uh, arrive drunk to the wedding. Uh, very unfortunate. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> As the relative of Princess Elios, uh, I would gain 16 prestige from marrying into... Da -da 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 -da, and minus 100 prestige from marrying the relative of a lord. Alright, we are going to launch the marriage. There you go. Excellent. Uh, perfect. The marriage is complete, matrilineal marriage. Hopefully, um, in the future, the House Hunt can take over the Reach. And what's this guy's name again? Um, Morin Hunt, he will inherit. And then his child will inherit, who is going to be uh, a Martell. Uh, he is going to be in my line of succession. And will take over the Reach through uh, marriage alliances, pretty much. I'm attending a festive outing with Sir Morin, yes. A festive outing, the wedding of our children, pretty much. Let's call it that. Unfortunately, Hat the Court is also here, and I'm having trouble getting any time alone with my amorous quarry. Let's let's leave him a note to meet me by the stream. Let's see what happens. I didn't have to wait long for Sir Morin to show up by the nearby stream. We spent hours chatting and laughing, and I do believe he is falling for me. I lean into Whisper in his ear. Oh, let's make a lewd suggestion. No one else, no one's here, my lord. No one will hear us by the stream. Let's hope he's experienced in body. Morin backed away from me, blushing and stammering something about being soft. Oh, being sorry. Oh, he is. I mean, he's anything but soft, if you know what I'm talking about. About being sorry before rushing off. Well, the virtue is strong in this one. Sir Morin Hunt, my hunt for you is not over yet. I wonder my, what my husband thinks of this. House Illyrian? Um... Hopefully, uh, you're okay with me being a little, uh, adventurous with our friends here in Sunsphere. I'm attending a- Oh my god, I still have this blood on my face, lady. Clean it off. I'm attending a festive outing with Sir Morin. Unfortunately, half the quarter's also here. Let's leave him a note to meet me by the stream. He'll know what's happening. Let us 
What's he... What's this guy into? He's, um... Honest. He's attractive, too. I didn't even notice. Um... Uh, he's cynical. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, what else? Let's, uh... Let's confess our love. Morn backed away from me, blushing and stammering. Okay. The virtue's strong in this one. My little princess, I write on behalf of the bank to express the consternation of the actions of your bannerman, Lady Elia Illyrian. My, uh... Husband's family, let's say, placate them with kind words of diplomacy. I think I'm gonna leave it here, though, guys. Thank you for watching. We are slowly but surely okay. Let's do this one more time. So, we confessed our love, we made a lewd suggestion. I managed to chance upon more and alone in the kitchen when he came down for his usual late night snack. We've talked and laughed for hours, and I can tell the attraction is growing. Hopefully, I've read him correctly. I lean into whisper in his ear. I'm gonna quote some love poetry. Are you kidding me? Okay, he backed away, blushing and stammering. The virtue's strong in this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll get him someday. Next time, though. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time when we take over the Reach and we overthrow the Baratheon tyrannical reign. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye.